<laughs> All right, so we'll go, and go ahead and mention this is uh, Rick Jensen's uh, bark carving class here. That's Mr. Rick right there. But uh, taking a class here at uh, Gene Webb's in Townsend, Tennessee. So uh, I'll just kind of pan around here. Hopefully this uh, turns out. Gene's got some real good lighting, and that's just going to work real good with uh, looks like this is the project everybody's working on. What do you call this again, Rick? Uh, it's, uh, it's the first in a series of uh, uh, childhood fantasy series. It's, it's all about every kid that you know wanted to have a treehouse. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm still wanting to have a nice treehouse to live in, <laughs> but it's got to be insulated pretty good for me in northern Minnesota. There you go. Yeah. And how many teach? How many classes do you teach a year, approximately? There, Rick. Uh, about twenty-eight seminars a year. Right. Uh, yeah. It gives me something to do. It's better than a real job. There you go. At least you like your boss man, right? Not not every day. Well, I can I can I can come to terms with that. Yeah. Yeah, I look at him in the mirror every morning and we have an argument. <laughs> but it, uh, it's something I've always been interested in. I've been carving for most of my life. Uh, not that I really ever accomplished anything, but... Uh, <laughs> Some would argue on that there, but... Yeah. Yeah. It, it's enjoyable. And uh, this, is, this is the basis of a, of, of a tree house here. Uh, and an old dead tree is going to be when it's all done, and we'll see what comes out of it. That's the fun part, ain't it? Yeah. Design change on these whimsical yeah. houses. Nothing straight. And we're going to bring this down a little bit here, and we'll bring it back over so it comes under this limb. Okay. And uh, same thing here. We're going to open this up a little bit. And, and the same thing here, it's going to come back to the side. Now, uh, you want to have to make just a light cut to get you started. But a light cut. Okay. That's hard to do. <laughs> See what you're working on there, David, if you don't I'll mind. There, right yeah, there. no problem. All right, man. That's neat. I promise. Great. That's going to be neat. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be interesting, that turns out. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I just love the car. And uh, I like to do all of the roughing work and then set them aside for four or five years and then put them in my museum of unfinished curtains. Uh, one time, a, a fellow in uh, Overland Park, Kansas, they said, well, what do you do? you ever have any rejects? I said, yes. Yeah. So what do you do with them? I said, I burn them. I said, in the winter in the stove. And you burn them. I said, I'm buying from you. I said, no, you can't. I said, I'll just give them to you. And uh, he said, boy, that really helped me along. I bet. But he carves a lot of outhouses. And I told him, I said, you know, I said, Ray, carving all these outhouses, what's going to happen? I said, that's going to make you a crappy carver. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Hell. Come on up. So and that's what that's what you get right here in the class, folks. That's right there is a prime example. Help. What do you get? Mr. Rick Collars, come on up. So that's another reason to to take another class okay. with, with uh, Rick. A couple things here. I don't do well with pencil. Yet uh, we're going to take some of this off here, and I'm going to take and change it just a little bit with my gouge. Right. But uh, just looking at this, I'm not real fond of what, what what's happening right here right at the yeah. moment but you watch and see what happens All right. here. Yeah. We'll find some kind of a tool to work with. You're using a, a number five sweep gouge and uh, what's happening is you get it set here. You watch when we make the cut. 
See how I'm turning it? Mm -hmm. it we're going to hollow this out and give some hollow to it. it uh, kind of giving it a gant kind of look. So you're, you're a little bit stiff and straight. You see the difference mm -hmm. here now? Yeah, here's the difference right there. And then we're going to do the same thing all the way around this. Yeah. That's how you use a use a gouge, folks. Just get in there and get it out of the way, right, Rick? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'd use dynamite, but I can't control it. That's one of my favorites, right there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I use just about anything that'll work. The first one of Whimsical House I ever did, I hollowed it out with a chainsaw. Wow. So you've been carving how long, approximately? Well, since I was a kid, okay. but seriously for, I don't know, 25, 30 years now, uh, where I've been pretty serious about it, <laughs> like if I ever get real serious. <laughs> uh, you do excellent work. Well, thank you. highly recommend this class to anybody, whether it's a uh, beginner or uh, what level carver you're at. Change this, this roof line. You think in essence, that's that's 90% of it right there. Okay, now. What I'm going to do is come in here and I'm going to set this gable end in. Now, backhand a lot. You may have noticed that. I said the reason I put the handles on it so you can carve away from yourself. <laughs> I, said, well, are, I said, are you a carver? No, he said, I know that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. You keep that arm tucked in. Yep. You got a better control. You got control. Yeah. And, uh, it's like some tools are backwards to me because the handle is designed for to fit the other way. Right. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't work out very well for this boy. But then, I didn't have anybody tell me how to car when I started, first started, so I guess I've done a lot of things wrong. <laughs> yeah. That's what makes you the artist you are, buddy. Yeah. Uh, so Rick uh, does do other carvings as well. Here's a little piece of uh, basswood, a little green man. Awesome expression on his face. Nice paint. This is a place to end the house. Uh, something to set on it. You can turn it into timbers or whatever. Uh, this is all make believe. That uh, although if you get on the internet, you can find some pretty interesting tree houses around the world uh, that have been uh, been made, and I wouldn't mind having them like this.